Spark is our solution for scaffold hopping, R group replacement, and fragment growing. In this web clip, I will introduce Spark's docking search method that enables you to find fragments, picking ligand protein interactions directly from the protein active site. The example used in this web clip is based on a P38 alpha case study. Briefly, I'm going to use Spark to make the ligand from PDB entry 3K3I grow within the active site of P38 to find a potential new, more selective and non-competitive P38 inhibitor. I will use a modelled version of the 3K3I protein structure in combination with Spark's docking method to ensure that functional groups in the R group replacement fragments can make H-bond interactions to the protein hinge region. In the Spark wizard, I will start a scaffold hopping or R group replacement project. In the next window, I will load a slightly modified version of the 3K3I ligand, retaining the input protonation state. Moving on, I need to select the part of the molecule that R group replacement will grow from. I will select this methyl group and leave the allowed atom types unconstrained. I will now load the P38 protein, which I have prepared carefully in Flare, rotating the glycine 110 residue so that the amide NH points into the active site, and again I will retain the input protonation state. As I want the spark results to make favourable interactions with glycine 110, I will apply a constraint to the glycine NH hydrogen, meaning that only suggested fragments that satisfy this constraint will be considered. Returning to the Spark search setup window, I will now ensure the calculation method is set to docking and choose to search reagents from the eMolecules Thiol S database. I can view advanced options for the docking setup by hitting the Show Options button. For example, if I wish to search a large library of fragments, I can apply physical, chemical and structural filters in order to reduce the search space. The use of additional computer resources, such as a cluster, will also reduce search times. The calculation is started by hitting the Start button. The Spark experiment has completed. A docking score column has been added to the results table and displays the docking score for each result molecule. A more highly negative value indicates a better docking result. If I display H bonds, I can see that each of the result molecules interacts with the hinge region of the protein as expected. Of particular interest is this result, whose thiazolo triazole moiety makes a similar network of H-bond interactions as a patented Pfizer compound in its bioactive conformation, PDB entry 2YIS. Further information on the example I've used is available via the links on this slide. Subscribe to our newsletter to receive monthly computational chemistry news. The docking and Spark calculation method is provided as an add-on to Spark. Please get in touch if you want to find out more or to arrange a Spark evaluation.